hello everyone welcome back to the dainty seamstress thank you for joining me for another video today i am going to be making a paper bag waist skirt for a barbie doll this is an idea that i just decided to make today i have this really pretty fabric that we got from timu it comes in a pack of i think like five or six different prints of fabrics so it was this one this wheat and they all have a metallic detail on the print there's this one with the waves there's this one with the dragons and then there's another one but I'm making something with it right now so I won't be showing it you'll see it a little bit later but yeah I just wanted to use this I thought it was really pretty and it would make a nice little skirt so I have my sewing machine ready and threaded I have my ruler that I like to use, the flexible ruler, and it's in increments of eighths, so that works really good. I think it's like um, 20 eighths across. I have my little piece of elastic that I'll be using and my threader drawstring pool. I think that's what it's called. I went ahead and pre-marked all the places where I'm going to fold and make a casing for the elastic. So this will be the top of the skirt. Let's see how. This is a seven and three quarters that way. And nine and seven eighths this way. So that's the piece. Of, if you want to make this, that's the measurement of fabric that you will need. I'll put it up on the screen. And then um, on the bottom, I just marked a quarter of an inch up. That's where I'm going to fold for the hem. And then I mark, um, I think, five eighths down. Let me check that again to be sure that's what I did. Because Okay, so this is actually three quarters down because that's where I'm going to fold this is going to be the top so I marked a quarter here there's a line there and then an eighth on the edge and then this middle portion is going to be where the elastic is going to go for the casing if you like you can mark down on both sides a quarter of an inch um I don't have it marked because I I kind of know what I'm going to do with that so yeah, so now all I'm going to do is go ahead and fold this and fold this portion and sew. Just going to scoot up. Uh oh, this thing's trying to start already. my first line and I'm gonna go on to the second line And this is what it looks like from the front. And so now I'm going to fold the hem and sew that down. 
you can also after you finish sewing up the back seam you can also fold it but i'm just going to do it this way while i'm folding and hemming <laughs> Snip that, and this is what it looks like now. Now I am going to thread my elastic through. I think I'm going to go with this quarter of an inch elastic. So what I'm going to do now is stick this through the casing and then hook the elastic. Hopefully it doesn't come loose and then pull that through like so, just like that. And so I've unhooked that and then all I'm going to do now is kind of back this up a little bit, pulling it so I can sew right here enough to keep the elastic in place. So just a little bit, I'm going to sew over that and then backstitch it. Keep that in place. And so that's snugging in place. And now I'm going to get the doll that I'm making an outfit for, which is going to be for um, the inspiring women's Madam CJ Walker doll. So this will be for a curvy Barbie and it might also fit a regular sized slim Barbie. So all I'm going to do is just scrunch this. I'm just going to pull it. See, like that, but enough to where it doesn't, I can still sew it up and it'll be good on this end because it's kind of looking funny, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to put it on her with right sides together for the hem, just so I can see where I need to, how much I need to pull this for it to fit right and that's looking pretty nice so now i'm going to cut this off like that and then i'm going to pin this in place pin this elastic in place from the side like that and then do the same thing I did on the other side, stitch from one seam to the other, back stitching to keep it secure. Okay. That looks super duper cute. And now I'm just going to close it up. This will be the center back seam. You want to match all of the seams up. You can pin it if you like to make sure everything is even. And then sew it from top to bottom.
Well, you know what? I'm going to sew it from bottom up from the hem to the waist because for me i feel that it'll be easier to get over that elastic with the gathering so backstitch that skirt is all finished and so when you're done it's going to look like this and you can do a zigzag stitch to secure these frayed edges or use fray check turn it inside out right side out i like how this fabric has a lot of body so this is what the skirt looks like when it's done and so let's try it on her. That looks really cute. And then you can also pull it up like that. But I think we're going to leave it here. And then I'm going to make a little sash to go with it and make her a top. Alrighty, so here is her completed look. The skirt looks really cute on her. I added a lilac top and sash because there's lilac in the center of some of the flowers. I think it's really nice against her skin tone. I also added some gold wire as some details in her hair. There is also metallic gold. I thought this was really cute. You guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think she looks darling. And I really like this floral print. So again, the fabric is from, I believe it's from Timu, out of the little packs. Um, but yeah, you guys, let me know what you think about it. I hope that you'll also be able to use this tutorial to make some clothes for your dolls. You can comment, like, share, and subscribe. Let me also know if there's any doll clothing in particular that you would like a tutorial on. And I'll try to do that. But yeah, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your weekend and God bless.